So Gary, what's been the main thrust of your work as a movement practitioner? Um, is looking at economy of movement. Um, that's something that's interested me pretty much for forever, is, is finding efficient ways for the body to move. Um, when I was trained as a cyclist as a really young age, early teenager, we had an exceptional coach that taught us about the elasticity of the spine. And our work that we did that would be called stretching was never stretching, it was elasticity training. And that kind of stayed with me for all of my life, really, and especially through my bodybuilding world as well. It was, you know, how can we move elastically through muscles? And getting people to understand that, they move lightly, they move differently, they're not encumbered by the structure. It was a really interesting medium to, to learn that. I had to unlearn lots of methods around systems and schoolings that would stretch and, you know, bring this, this concept into it that was always ever there. So that um, I've seen this in dissection is that you know, underneath your skin and your fat layer, there's a, you know, there's a surround of tough, tough connective tissue that is in many, many layers in multiple directions that um, is quite elasticated. You know, we're not going to see its elastic nature in cadaver form, but yet it does have a give to it. So you know, this really is like an elastic suit that you're moving, and that elastic suit folds in on itself into the body. So we can move in an elastic way, without having to just put excessive forces through it just to pull and stretch it. Because if I just try and stretch it, I'm bringing tension in from another area to do that. So, you know, the interesting work in the, the medium of the yoga that we've worked with has been understood by many, many others from way, way back when, before a lot of the scientific research has gone on, is, is how it can respond elastically. We're set up beautifully, beautifully for elastic movement. You just have to, have to watch not only uh, a well um, experienced martial artist but a honed athlete or someone that's just very in tune with their body someone that dances well um, contact improvisation dancers have these sort of qualities about them as well not everyone, some of it can be trained into the system but um, along the line we've got a structure that can maintain itself, maintain space and lightness in the body so that it can continue to stay that way the more we go on on our years. Why should we have to accept that our body is going to go through a gradual decline and we feel unwell with that and unable to move? What about just going to a point where we just maintain that fluidity and lightness all the way through until then we finish? Mm. No one would guess you're 105. I know, I'm 106 now. <laughs>